digital transformation encompasses DevOps and the adoption of cloud and new technologies. It represents a shift from centralized IT to applications and developers and increased pace of innovation and deployment and the acquisition of new digital users that organizations previously did not need to service. All of these technologies and users are straining traditional performance and service management strategies and tools to the breaking point. AI Ops is the IT Ops paradigm shift required to handle these digital transformation issues. Now, before we dive into the session, let me brief you all about the agenda. Firstly, we will understand why do we need AI Ops? What is AI Ops? And we will also discuss some of the elements involved in AI Ops. Moving on, we'll understand how does AI Ops work, some of the benefits of it, and also some of the use cases. Finally, we'll conclude the session by discussing the future of AI Ops. Now, without much ado, let's get started. So firstly, we will understand why do we need AI Ops. Today, most organizations are transitioning from a traditional infrastructure of separate static physical systems to a dynamic mix of on-premises, managed cloud, private cloud, and public cloud environments, which are running on virtualized or software-defined resources that scale and reconfigure constantly. Applications and systems across these environments generate a tsunami of data that keeps growing. In fact, Gartner estimates that the average enterprise IT infrastructure generates around two to three times more IT operations data every year. Traditional domain-based IT management solutions cannot keep up with the volume. They cannot intelligently sort the significant events out of the crush of the surrounding data. They cannot correlate data across different but interdependent environments, and they definitely cannot provide the real-time insight and predictive analysis IT operation teams need to respond to issues fast enough to meet user and customer service level expectations. So this is where AI Ops enters the picture. AI Ops provides visibility into performance data and dependencies across all environments, analyzes the data to extract significant events which are related to slowdowns or outages and automatically alerts IT staff to problems, their root causes, and recommended solutions. So this is why most organizations are making the shift to AI Ops. Now moving on, let us understand what is AI Ops. AI Ops is simply a short for Artificial Intelligence for IT Operations. AI meaning Artificial Intelligence, Ops meaning Operations. It refers to a multi-layer technology platform that automate and enhance IT operations through analytics and machine learning. So AI Ops platforms leverage big data, collecting a variety of data from various IT operation tools and devices in order to automatically spot and react to issues in real time while still providing traditional historical analytics. So in this diagram, Gartner explains how an AI Ops platform works. So AI Ops has two main components, that is big data and machine learning. It requires a move away from siloed IT data in order to aggregate observational data alongside engagement data inside a big data platform. AI Ops then implements a comprehensive analytics and machine learning strategy against the combined IT data. The desired outcome is automation-driven insights that yield continuous improvements and fixes. AI Ops can be thought of as a continuous integration and deployment for core IT functions. So to accomplish the goal of continuous insights and improvements, AI Ops bridges three different IT disciplines. That is service management to engage, performance management to observe, and automation to act. So AI Ops creates a game plan that recognizes that within a new accelerated IT environments, there must be a new approach that's underwritten by advances in big data and machine learning. Moving on, let's see the elements of AI Ops. So the first one is extensive and diverse IT data. Enumerated in the black and blue chevrons, AI Ops is predicted on bringing together diverse data from both IT operations management and IT service management. This is often referred to as breaking down data silos, bringing data together from disparate tools so they can speak to each other and accelerate root cause identification or eventually enable automation. The second element is aggregated big data platform. At the heart of the platform is big data. As the data is liberated from siloed tools, it needs to be brought together to support next level analytics. 
This needs to occur not just offline, as in a forensic investigation using historical data, but also in real time as data is ingested. The third element is machine learning. Big data enables the application of machine learning to analyze vast quantities of diverse data. This is not possible prior to bringing the data together, nor by manual human effort. Machine learning automates existing manual analytics and enables new analytics on new data, all at a scale and speed unavailable without AI ops. The fourth element is observe. This is the evolution of the traditional ITOM domain that integrates development and other non ITOM data to enable new modalities of correlation and contextualization. In combination with real time processing, probable cause identification becomes simultaneous with issue generation. The next element is engage. The evolution of the traditional ITSM domain includes bi directional communication with ITOM data to support the above analysis. AI or ML expresses itself here in cognitive classification plus routing and intelligence at the user touch point. So, one of the examples is a chatbot. The last element is act. This is the final mile of the AI ops value chain. Automating analysis, workflow, and documentation is all part of AI ops. Act encompasses the codification of human domain knowledge into the automation and orchestration of remedication and response. In the next part of the session, we learn how does AI ops really work. The easiest way to understand how AI ops works is to review the role that each AI ops component technology that is big data, machine learning and automation plays in the process. AI ops uses a big data platform to aggregate siloed IT operations data in one place. This data can include historical performance and event data, streaming real time operation events, system logs and metrics, network data, etc. So this is where AI ops then applies focus analytics and machine learning capabilities in separate significant event alerts from the noise. So what AI ops really does is it uses analytics like rule application and pattern matching to comb through your IT operations data and separate signals that is significant abnormal event alerts from the noise. You can also identify root causes and propose solutions. Using industry specific or environment specific algorithms, AI ops can correlate abnormal events with other event data across environments to zero in on the cause of an outage or performance problem and eventually suggest remedies or solutions. It can also be applied to automate responses, including real time proactive resolution. At a minimum, AI ops can automatically route alerts and recommended solutions to the appropriate IT teams or even create response teams based on the nature of the problem and the solution. In many cases, it can process results from machine learning to trigger automatic system responses that address problems in real time before users are even aware that they occurred. The last one is learn continually to improve handling of future problems. Based on the results of the analytics, machine learning capabilities can change algorithms or create new ones to identify problems even earlier and recommend more effective solutions. AI models can also help the system learn about and adapt to changes in the environment, such as new infrastructure provisioned or reconfigured by DevOps teams. Now let's see some of the AI ops benefits. The overarching benefit of AI ops is that it enables IT operations to identify, address and resolve slowdowns, outages faster than they can be sifting manually through alerts from multiple IT operation tools. This results in several specific benefits. The first one is it achieves faster mean time to resolution that is MTTR. So by cutting through IT operations noise and correlating operations data from multiple IT environments, AI ops is able to identify root causes and propose solutions faster and more accurately than humanly possible. This enables organizations to set and achieve previously unthinkable MTTR goals. For example, telecommunications provider Nextel Brazil was able to use AI ops to reduce incident response times from 30 minutes to less than five minutes. The next benefit is go from reactive to proactive to predictive management. Because it never stops learning, AI ops keeps getting better at identifying 
less urgent alerts or signals that correlate with more urgent situations. This means it can provide predictive alerts that let IT teams address potential problems before they lead to slowdowns or outages. So the third benefit is that it helps you modernize your IT operations and your IT operations team. Instead of being bombarded with every alert from every environment, AI ops operation teams only receive alerts that meet specific service level thresholds or parameters, complete with all the context required to make the best possible diagnosis and take the best and fastest corrective action. The more AI ops learns and automates, the more it helps keeps the light on with less human effort and the more your IT operations team can focus on tasks with greater strategic value to the business. So these are some benefits of AI ops. Let's move on and talk about some of the use cases of AI ops. In addition to optimizing IT operations, AI ops visibility and automation can support and help drive other important business and IT innovations. The first one is anomaly or threat detection. AI ops is a valuable addition to a strong security management posture. Heuristics and algorithms can mine traffic data for botnets, scripts, or other threats that can take out a network. Especially when these threats are complex, multi-vector, and layered, machine learning can expose patterns that can undermine business service availability. The next use case is event correlation. Infrastructure teams are faced with floods of alerts and yet there is only a handful that really matters. AI ops can mine those alerts, use inference models to group them together, and identify upstream root cause issues that are at the core of the problem. It transforms an overloaded inbox of alert emails into one or two notifications that really matter. The third use case is intelligent alerting and escalation. After root cause alerts and issues are identified, IT ops teams are using artificial intelligence to automatically notify subject matter experts or teams of incidents for faster remediation. Artificial intelligence can act like a routing system immediately setting the remediation workflow in motion before a human being ever gets involved. PlacePark Technologies is one such example that is leveraging the power of AI ops to its advantage. The platform monitors your hardware continuously. Basically, it uses machine learning to predict a fault based on a previous and real-time data of the system before it even occurs. A ticket is created automatically if and when a fault is detected. So this ticket includes all the necessary details required to resolve the issue. The fourth use case is incident auto remediation. AI ops is also being used as an end to end bridge between ITSM and IT operation management tools. Traditionally, ITSM teams sift through infrastructure data to identify and remedicate issues at the root cause. AI ops extracts root cause inferences from infrastructure alerts and then eventually sends them to the ITSM team or tool through API integration pathways. So the last use case that we'll be discussing today is capacity optimization. This can also include predictive capacity planning and refers to the use of statistical analysis or AI-based analytics to optimize application availability and workloads across infrastructure. So what these analysis can do is they can proactively monitor raw utilization, bandwidth, CPU, memory, and much more to help increase overall application uptime. With this, we come to the last part of today's session, the future of AI ops. Understanding what is driving AI ops and how it is a response get us to the current state of the market. As IT moves beyond the human scale, IT tooling needs to adapt, but simply reacting defensively is definitely not enough. The organizations that embrace IA Ops will see the challenge it is meant to address as an opportunity to grow, evolve, innovate, and disrupt. Here are some ways that AI Ops enabled organizations will transform their businesses in the next five years. The first one is technology becomes more human. Analytics and orchestration enable frictionless experiences, allowing ubiquitous self service. The automation of technology and hence business processes. This will lead to costs that are lower, speed increases, and errors decrease while freeing up human capital for higher level achievement. Enterprise IT ops gains DevOps agility. Continuous delivery extends to operations and the business. Data also eventually becomes currency. The vast wealth of untapped business data is capitalized, unleashing high value use cases 
and monetization opportunities. AI Ops is the application of tried and true technology and processes to IT Ops. IT Ops personnel are typically slow to adopt new technologies because out of necessity, our jobs have always been more conservative. It is the job of IT Ops to make sure the lights stay on and provide stability for the infrastructure that supports organizational applications. We have passed the tipping point, however, and AI Ops adoption is the key indicator for the trajectory of the digital enterprise. With this, we come to the end of today's session. I hope you had a great time learning about AI Ops. Until next time, thank you.